now it's recording. Um, so yeah, five three. We're talking about inequalities in a triangle. Um, basically, just looking at how we can compare uh, three sides and the three angles of a triangle. So um, up there, you see uh, properties of inequalities, including the transitive addition and subtraction properties of inequalities can also be used with measures of angles and segments because those measurements are just numbers. So if you have like A and B, um, A either has to be less than B, A can be equal to B, or A can be greater than B. There's no other possibility uh, between those three. So the, this first theorem, and I'll, I'll make sure to make a packet of all these for the testing, and I kind of forgot on the last test, but um, we have the exterior angle inequality theorem. Basically, the, the measure of an exterior angle is greater than the measure of the corresponding remote interior angle. So we'll have to break that down. What does corresponding remote interior angles mean? Um, if we have that, like in that picture there, they have this triangle that looks something like this with straighter lines. Um, and you have C, point C, point A, point B. And you've got this angle 1, which is this exterior angle. Um, and then I guess they have D out here. When you have uh, this exterior angle 1, um, Basically, that's saying that that's greater than this angle and also greater than this angle. So this, this angle is greater than either of these two. Why, why are they calling that remote? If you think of a remote island, these are the two angles that are far away, right? And they're interior, they're remote. <coughs> so that's why uh, they call them remote. So basically, we're saying measure of angle 1 is greater the measure of angle A and measure of angle 1 is also greater than the measure of angle B. So does that make sense why we're saying how we're, how we're coming to that conclusion? Good. We can't always say that it's greater than this because what if I had like, uh, what if I had an obtuse angle here and my exterior angle was acute? That's why this doesn't apply to your, your angle there. So then we have that triangle uh, down in example. Well, I guess it's just an example. It's not example one. But um, we have this triangle that looks something like uh, this. We have angle three, angle four, angle two, angle one, point E, F, G, and H. Um, so we want all the angles of this triangle EFG that have a measure that's less than angle 1. <coughs> so um, let's see. So we're, we're looking at uh, Measure of angle one. Uh, let's see. I'm just see. It's kind of confusing how they ask that. Uh, less than at measurement angle one. So this. Okay, I got you. So this has to be greater than. Um, so one, in other words, has to be greater than which angles. So based on our our exterior angle theorem, one has to be greater than which two angles. Yeah, it has to be greater than 3. So the measure of angle 1 out here is greater than 3. And the, the measure of angle 1 is also greater than the measure of angle 4. They just asked the it backwards. They just asked which two are less than angle 1, which is the reverse of that. <coughs> so if we look at some exercises uh, down there, Um, we have for exercises, we'll just do exercises one and two for now. If we have time, we'll do more, but, uh, it's hard to draw straight lines with this thing. One, two, three, four, 
um, 5 out here is this angle. And then we have K, which is actually the point here. K, uh, J, M, and L. Yeah. Um, so then, number one, we're looking at the angles, measures that are less than one. Um, so if we have one here, which which two angles again are less than angle one? Yeah, three and four. And then for number two, they're asking measures that are greater than angle three. What's what's that one in uh, also? Yeah, one in five. Um, and then since we can we can we assume two there? Do we have enough evidence? Um, we don't necessarily know that these two angles are equal because this could be slightly a bigger angle. Um, I'm trying to think there because you have. You know that 5 is greater than 2, and you know that, but you don't, 3 is less than 5, so that doesn't help. I think we can only know that angle 1 and 5 are greater, right? Um, so that's exercises 1 and 2. Uh, we'll look at the, the rest if we have time, but let's go on to the back. So now we're talking about um, angle-side relationships here. We have this triangle. Uh, well, it's really bad. <laughs> but uh, we have B, A, and C. Uh, so basically what we're saying is if, if this line here is greater than this, so this segment here is greater than this segment here, um, then that means that this angle here is greater than the this angle here. In words, they say if one side of a triangle is longer than another side, then the angle opposite the longer side, so this angle here, has a greater measure than the angle here, which is opposite of the shorter side. So um, the other thing is if one angle has a greater measure than another angle, so if this is greater than this, then that means the opposite side here of the greater angle is going to be greater than the opposite side here of the lesser angle. So <clears throat> looking at those examples, uh, we have RST there, um, a triangle, and we have 6 centimeters, 7 centimeters, and 9 centimeters. Uh, which angle is going to be the smallest angle? I heard, I think I heard someone say T, right? T. Yeah, angle T is the smallest. So you have six here. That's your smallest side. So your opposite angle is the smallest. The next smallest then would be which angle? Yep, yeah, R is your next smallest, and then, S. and then S is your biggest. So that's not too hard, right? This uh, T, then R, then S. And then if we look at the opposite idea in example two, we have this weird-looking triangle here, uh, which is 20 degrees, 125 degrees, and 35 degrees. Make sure it actually shuts there. And we have A, B, and C. So which is my shortest side? Uh, B and C. Yep, B, C, because we have the smallest angle here. Then the next shortest side is A, B, because your next angle up is 35. And then finally, the angle, the side opposite here which is AC. So I'll just do that, that, and that. So any questions on uh, how to get those 
um, the order of those angles, I'm going to pause it.